Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I teach you how to cook at home. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe and bell button and that'll let you know every time I post a new video on my channel, including one in this series called Eggs. We've learned so far how to poach eggs, how to fry eggs, and now we're on to learning how to do a fun version of sunny side up and eggs over easy. I know it's very similar to frying eggs, but we're gonna learn a few different techniques for those, and that way you'll be on your way to learning even more ways to make eggs perfect at home. All right, I will get started. Today I'm gonna teach you a little bit of a fun way to make a sunny side up egg. Usually when you kind of crack an egg into a pan, the egg white kind of spreads out thin and some cooks a little bit quicker than the I'm gonna teach you how to make a beautiful round sunny side up egg every single time. All right, the trick is this cookie cutter. So you can kind of get these at any cooking store. Um, they're just round metals you use to kind of punch biscuits or cookies. Um, this I'm going to grease with a little bit of olive oil or if you have nonstick spray, you can do that as well. Just set that in the bottom of the pan and turn your pan on medium heat, kind of medium low. Why you wanna make sure that cutter is nice and greased up is because if you don't, the egg will actually stick to the metal and it'll make a hot mess trying to get it out. So promise you, make sure you oil it up or spray it down before you put it in the pan. Okay, now once the pan starts to get warm, we're going to add our egg. If you've seen my other egg videos, I love to crack an egg into a small ramekin or even a measuring cup will do before I put it in. It makes it so much easier to transfer it, no shell, all the goodies. So we'll kind of hold this just to keep it still and slowly pour that in. And as you can see, the egg whites at the bottom have already started to slowly turn white and we're just gonna let it do its thing. Let it go low and slow until the egg whites on the very top have cooked all the way through and you're good. Okay, but while it's cooking, we're just gonna add a pinch of kosher salt, a couple cracks of fresh black pepper, and then and now we'll let it do its thing. Okay guys, once you start to see the egg whites up top start to get opaque, use a paper towel or kitchen towel just to kind of lift it up, and slide a spatula under there and on to a plate. And you just use a paper towel and a little spatula to kind of just loosen up the edges and then kind of gently lift it up. It should be left with a beautiful round egg. I love to kind of punch out another piece of bread using the same um, cutter and then place this on top with a little sliced avocado, a little dash of hot sauce. It is delicious and beautiful. So what I did here is kind of take the egg and punched it out and then punched out the, a piece of toast right underneath the same size as I did the egg cutter. And then I just sliced a little bit of avocado, drizzled it with olive oil, and a little bit of salt and fresh cracked pepper. Okay guys, the other way you can do an egg is to do a sunny side up egg. That just means the egg yolk is upside down and the egg white is over it and cooked. So we're just gonna add a little bit of clarified butter, um, also known as ghee. You can get it at most grocery stores. If you don't have it, you can use just regular butter. I personally like ghee a little bit better just cause the milk solids in it don't burn. But with a nonstick pan, you actually don't have to use any fat. I just love the flavor of butter, but certainly use what you feel most comfortable with. Okay, we are going to add our egg, a little bit of salt, fresh cracked pepper as I do with all of my eggs and let it do its thing for just a hot minute. And what you're looking for is the egg white around the yolk just to be almost set. You don't want it all the way set or else it's a little gonna be overdone by the time you flip it, but you want it almost set just that way it doesn't ooze when you flip it. I like to use a couple spatulas in here. So I like to use one kind of as a helper and one as a main and you just kind of help it up the spatula and then when you're ready to flip, just like that. So the idea is that you don't break the egg yolk, so that's kind of why I think using two spatulas here, I just happen to use my fish spatula I had handy and my offset. If you have not seen me talk about my offset, I love this tool. I will link below my must-have kitchen tools. This is one of them. It's just easy to maneuver, um, use it for most my dishes. Just give this maybe another 30 seconds to a minute to cook on this side and then we'll take it out of the pan. 
Okay guys, after we flip the egg, like you can see, it cooks both sides, so you don't actually see the egg yolk. It's kind of like buried and nestled inside with the cooked egg whites. The egg whites are just cooked through, not overcooked, and when we crack into it, let's go ahead. Ooh, see it's gonna still have that nice, ooey gooey center, but oh, delicious. It's like an egg yolk sandwich, it's delicious. All right guys, go ahead and hit the suggested video to take you to the next video in the series where we're gonna learn how to soft boil all the way up to hard boil eggs, and then we will finally get to our recipe of the delicious deviled egg recipe that I have coming up. All right, make sure to leave comments below on any tips and tricks that you loved in this video, and I look forward to you guys watching once more. All right, thanks guys.